Okay, hello everyone. Um, okay, so this is just a basic lesson, another basic blues lesson. So acoustic blues. Okay, so I've had a lot of questions from my previous students. So yeah, okay, so many ask about my age also. So yeah, I'm at my mid thirties to be honest because some people ask uh, why do you always say that you have many students before yeah, like that um, do you teach younger kids and yes I teach younger kids before and now okay so so I've been teaching for more than 10 years already yeah yeah more maybe 15 years <laughs> so started younger also so yeah so specializing more on acoustic guitar um, I know many of you see my videos um, playing more on instrumental rock guitar uh, especially mostly on anime <laughs> songs yeah so that's more of my hobby okay the instrumental thing and honestly I'm not earning from it uh, performing those instrumental rock guitar covers it's merely more for fun because it's what we enjoy especially it's what our childhood was all about so as a professional um, I really teach more on acoustic 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 sorry <laughs> so kapoy mag in English okay. <laughs> okay so what I said um, what I've been saying is uh, I have to speak English so that everyone could understand Okay, so, so yeah, um, yeah, so going forward, so I've been talking a lot already, so just saying because I'm gonna be making a few videos of guitar lessons, um, mostly on fundamental, and mostly to those that have been frequently asked, okay, so yeah. So, okay, so let's carry on, um, blues, blues lesson, okay, so my, my friends and my previous students have been asking me, um, how do you play the blues on the acoustic or even the electric guitar, um, the bluesy way? Because they know that it's in the pentatonic scale um, being a guitar nerd or <laughs> um, explaining too much um, so okay here it goes so so E it's an E major okay so this is your third fret the high E string then you go open okay then next string then on the next string is on the second fret. Then open. Then the D string, your fourth string, second fret. And open. Then again on the second fret. Okay, so if I'm gonna play it, it sounds like this. Okay, so one more time. E string. The, low, the highest string, third fret, then open, third fret again on the B string, your second string, then open, and on the G string, your third string, second fret, then open, then on the fourth string, the D string, second fret, open, then press again the second fret okay so it's a pentatonic scale okay so yeah um that's the blues also so most of them play it like this 
So in, on, on the picking lessons, it's up to you. But the fundamental is up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down up. Or alternate, down, up, down, up, down, up. Um, it's up to you. But that's the basic, okay? That's the fundamental. That's why I'm making this video, okay? So it's getting longer. Okay, so here it goes. Okay, so going straight to the point to make this video shorter. So I'm trying to make this video for just about 5 minutes but it's getting more than 5 minutes already. So how to make it a blue C sound? Um, it's more on the vibrato and your feel. Okay, so feel. It's different just hitting the notes but if you put the feel on it put a little vibrato open and you can put a tap pull off okay so that's the basic once again So if you put a pull off, so a pull off is when you hit the string, you pull it off with your first finger. Hit, you don't hit it with your pick, you just pull. I know you'll understand, I know you'll get it. Alright. So to make it loosey, it sounds like this. So it's, it's a, so just like a country song also. Okay, so that's the lesson. So I hope you get it. So that's why. Most of the your, most of your music teachers or music music tutors, okay. So that's why most of us uh, the students, especially those who just rely on Google and YouTube, uh, that's good because it's the high tech visual era right now. But it's best if you have a personal, real guitar teacher, okay. Even though even through online. Because it's different if someone could coach you, if someone could correct you, and if someone could guide you. So yeah, that's my message to my previous students. I know some of you have always been watching and supporting and I thank all of you a lot. Thank you guys a lot ever since through the years. So the signs of itching. So yeah, that's that's it. Thank you so much for watching and hope to do more fundamental videos, okay? So yeah, let's play guitar and have fun. Take care, y'all.